Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online. We are here today at Steve's Farm with Fire Lord. Fire Lord is one of our Yorvik wild horses. He's not really had a chance to stretch his legs just yet, but I thought today would be a pretty good day to bring him along since we are going to be going and blowing stuff up with dynamite. And what better time to do that when, than when you have the horse named Fire Lord with you. So I think he's going to have a really good time. So Amethyst Mist has gone off to Horse Island. She took her adorable little copper, her puppy be with her. Rose Stone is over there with Thistledown. Melody Warrior is relaxing out there too. So all three of those horses are being taken care of on Horse Island right now. While Fire Lord is going to be running around with us and learning about the joys of dynamite. I think he's going to have a great time. And when I was trying to pick a companion for Fire Lord, I actually found the little pig. And I think this little black pig rather than a black cat is probably a really perfect companion for him. Because I imagine pigs are extremely intelligent. And I imagine that he and Fire Lord just really get along like good buddies. So they they're gonna have a great time. I'm gonna need a new name for this adorable little pig. And I am fully dressed and ready to go for the very exhausting, sweaty work of blowing some dynamite up today. So hopefully that'll go okay. And I really want it to go well. And let's come over here and let's actually race Fire Lord really quickly. Yeah, let's do that, because we don't have any... He's never been on a race before. We don't have any experience for him. So this will be good for you, Fire Lord. All right, let's go. We got this. There we go, buddy. Oh, look at the little pig! The little pig is so cute! Oh my gosh, evil cowgirls! Dun dun dun! Alright, but yes, I really, really, really want to help Mario out. Not because I think Mario is like super duper cool or anything. Though, I mean, you know, I don't want to bash him. He can be super cool if he wants to be. But because he is part of the AAE, the Astronomy and Archaeology um, Energy Group? I can't remember what the E stands for. Engineering Group, maybe? And basically, he's part of the group that studies the stars and also dabbles in archaeology, and I adore archaeology. So I really want to get myself involved in that. Oh, and not to mention we need to go and help Mario so we can find out what the giant holes in the ground here at Steve's stables actually are. So those ones to the left right there. I totally forgot that's why we're helping Mario. When you kind of get sidetracked scaling up and down the mountainside and preparing to blow it up with dynamite, you forget that those are the reasons that you were you were doing those things in the first place. All right, so let's come down here. He's actually doing really good. I feel like I have a better a better relationship with him than I do with the Amethyst Mist already. Oh, that horse looks like my Rose Stone. I miss Rose Stone so much. All right, let's round this corner. We've got this. There we go. But I think Fire Lord will have a pretty good day out with us. And I like that we're wearing a good outfit for blowing dynamite up. All right, there we go. Good job, Fire Lord. He is actually a pretty, he's a pretty well-behaved Yorvik wild horse. All right. And he has the teensiest little bit of experience. Oh, he went up a whole level. I was like, oh, he got a teensy bit of experience from that. No, he leveled up. He's at level two now. There you go, Fire Lord. So yeah, he's having a good day. We're also going to pop over here because until August 10th, we actually can do the Midsummer Festival Hunts. So we might as well go ahead and see what today's treasure hunt is going to be. Uh, yeah, and look, we're actually headed in that direction because that's where the balloons fly. So where the balloons are is actually where we're going next. So that's awesome. Hello, Councilman. All right, Fire Lord. Oh, I'm so excited. We're dressed nicely. We're ready to go. The treasure hunt for today is going to be over by the hot air balloons. So we'll go visit the hot air balloons and collect the treasure. And then we'll go blow up the dynamite. And then we can come back to Steve's farm after we're done with that, to relax, take care of Fire Lord, and see what treasure we got from today's Midsummer Festival treasure hunt. And I do still have my Midsummer Festival gear, and there's the Midsummer Festival over there right now. Oh, that's so cool. Maybe we'll ride by it on our way back. So we do have uh, the Midsummer Festival gear still with the cute little flower hats. I just took them off today because, you know, we're going to be blowing dynamite up, and to me that indicates that you should probably dress appropriately. All right, so last time... Oh, look, he's going to change colors! Go, Fire Lord, go! Watch out for that! Okay, jump, Fire Lord! Woo, look at that! Uh, what? That, that counted as a dangerous fall? That's kind of hilarious. Look at him! He is so handsome. Very nice. And he's got his cute little pig with him. Adorable. Hello, person! Very nice to meet you, Brooke. And oh, just so you guys know, if you do happen to run in to me when we're out and about, I am full up on my friends list. There is no more room on my friends list for me to be able to accept, uh, to accept friendship, unfortunately. It's a very sad thing. 
Ah, there we go. Here's a good spot to search. All right, the sparkly spots are showing up. That's kind of cool that he changed his color. What? Fire Lord, you're a very, very lucky, lucky horse. You know that? The very first place we look. And he manages to snag the treasure. Well, we might have a good day roaming the countryside with Fire Lord then. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, let's avoid this big hole in the ground. So yeah, I think we actually might have a really great time running around with him and his little pet pig. I wonder what we're going to call the pig. Not Bacon. Believe it or not, Sir Bacon is the name of my cousin's pet pig. <laughs> he does have a pet pig and its name is Sir Bacon. So, I, I mean, we could name him Sir Bacon. But I'm just going to leave that up to you guys. You, you let me know. All right, Foreman Olaf, I am here with Fire Lord the Horse to blow some dynamite up. Hmm, the old foundations are no good for us to use. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, we're gonna, we're, we've got this, we've got this. Easy peasy and, oh, oh my gosh. He actually gave it to me. Um, okay, Fire Lord, I guess we're doing this. We're gonna be blowing some stuff up. <laughs> I'm so nervous about this, but I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, so where do we need to go? Wait, he said the old, so we need to blow these things up. Whoops, sorry about that, Fire Lord. Running into the brambles. So, I hope this will work out okay. Okay, I'm placing it. Okay, I'm trying to run. Three. Yes, Fire Lord, please. Let's scooch it. All right, two. Magic power is growing. Maybe, maybe his power grows as things like get ready to blow up. One. Okay. Woo, and it startled me right into a tree. Wow. You're kidding me, right? Like we really did that? What do you think about that, Fire Lord? You think you're stuck on a slope. That's fine. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. <laughs> We're like stuck between a tree and Okay, we can we can we can do this. We can do this, buddy. <laughs> please? Please? Nope. We're we're totally stuck. Okay, I'll be back in just a second. There we go. Hopelessly stuck and now we're freed again. All right. So that was kind of cool. I guess his magic power grows anytime there's something to do with fire and explosions. I wonder if he'd be a good horse to take to that volcano. All right, let's get away from here. I think he'd probably be the, a good horse to take away from that volcano, actually. All right, the magic power's fading. Well, don't worry, buddy. We're about to have a big explosion. I kind of want to see, did we run far enough? There it goes. I feel like we should at least warn people before we do that. Dynamite is kind of, yeah, now his magic power is growing. He's like, oh, I got it now. We're blowing stuff up. All right, well, we'll put another one right here. Hey, 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 slow down there, buddy. All right, we're placing it. Look at the pig. The pig looks excited, too. All right, so we've got this. And then there's another one right over there. But I think we actually have to go up and around in order to reach it. So we'll just go around. two are like ridiculously excited about the dynamite we're leaving behind that's hilarious look at how i feel like he's getting redder and redder because he's just very excited his coat is just changing in color with all of the explosions kaboom kaboom all right and we're gonna run up here and i know there's two more pieces so there's one piece up here this is kind of amazing all right there's one piece right there good now we really do need to like kind of skedaddle all right, let's wiggle our way down. He's a pretty lucky horse too, because we already found, there we go. We did already find the treasure too, like the first, the first spot we looked in. All right, just one more. Hang on, hang on, Fire Lord. I was trying really hard, oh gosh. But he, he did, he's not very sure-footed. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm kind of taking away from this, is that Fire Lord is not very sure-footed. I think it's because we're stuck on this block. Can we go anywhere? All right, buddy. You, you, you kind of, he's not sure-footed, you guys. I'll be back. All right, there we go. He's a bit of a stubborn guy, you guys. When he really, like, slips down a slope, he gets stuck pretty darn good. All right, now let's get away from this. So there, we have now blown up. <laughs> I think he's so happy. I think he enjoyed that, other than the part where he got stuck several times. But now we have blown up all of those pieces. There we go. The magic power's fading because the explosions are over. And we are going to go and see what Foreman, Foreman Olaf thinks of all of this now that we have completed that task. All right, so let's go see what he thinks. 
We're all done, sir! Blew things up. It was actually a lot more exciting than I thought it would be. Boom, boom, boom! What a fantastic bunch of explosions! They must have heard that all the way in Fir Grove. I planned, thought some more, then planned some more while you were gone. We need a gondola lift to put, up, put, to put up, so I searched and found one from the Alps that we're thinking of buying. It's solid and complete, and best of all, cheap! I've written up a purchase order. Please write over to Derek at the post office and ask him to send it. Alright, and we can actually do that. Used his best. We can actually do that because we do need to go back over to the village anyway to turn in our Midsummer Festival treasure hunt. So that shouldn't take too long. All right, let's wiggle this way. There we go, and we'll head back towards the castle. Oh, and we can actually stop by the Midsummer Festival area while we're on our way there. Is the bonfire still going? When you think about that, Fire Lord, I think you'd enjoy the bonfire. In fact, he would love the bonfire, wouldn't he? <laughs> All right, let's bring him over so that he can have a good time. Looks like nobody's here anymore. More or less, the party is totally over. Oh my gosh, look at him. Yep, I think Fire Lord, Fire Lord, look what you've done. Do you enjoy this? I think he would absolutely <laughs> love being the center of attention with all of this fire. What a fun festival though, you guys. What would you be eating if you came over here? I would probably be eating like if they have any of the vegan cheese. I am so addicted to, oh, I would be eating that. The carrots I would be sharing with Thistledown. I think the pig would be happy to eat like anything. Are you a picky pig? Oh, <laughs> that's so fun. All right, well, let's get moving and we're gonna keep going back to the village. So once we get back to Silverglade Village, we'll be able to turn in both our treasure and the letter to Derek. And then we'll have to see. It looks like this gondola lift is going to take us a little while to be able to prepare. Oh, and then I think there's also a new racing track that we can activate over, over in this farm that we haven't opened up yet. So we might poke at that in the future too. Man, it's pretty. Do you guys remember when we had to snag all of those leaves for the hedgehog nest? I really love that. That was definitely one of my favorite quests. I love how many of the quests end up involving helping animals. That's really awesome. Oh, and there's so many little ferns. And it makes you feel like the land around you is so much more alive, even if you can't see anything just yet, too. All right, beautiful horse. I, I have a thing for spots, it seems. All right, we're going to come down here. And first, we're going to come over to Derek. Hey, a saga. A letter to the Alps. <gasps> Look at that cute bunny. Oh, my gosh. Lightning Knight, you have an adorably cute bunny right there. Oh, I guess I missed this little down a little bit. Hey, Saga, a letter to the Alps? You're lucky. I was just about to send out all the international mail with the helicopter. Come back tomorrow and maybe you'll have your answer. These things usually go quickly. All right. So Derek is going to handle that for us. And that'll be that part of that quest. And then let's come over and turn this into Felix. So let's see what treasure we got from today. And did we get another skirt? The same skirt? This is a skirt with summer flower motif. That's kind of cute, actually. Nice and light and summery. I'm more of a pants sort of person, though. But I like it. All right, so that's another new skirt. We did not have that skirt before. So there's another task down. All right, Fire Lord, what else do you think we can do? We can go talk to Mario, talk to Ed. Eddie, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can actually do over at the beach. So I might grab Rose Stone and do those things at the beach with Rose Stone pretty soon. But let's go over and let's go see what Marley wants because I think that actually unlocks another racing track and I haven't done that just yet. But over at the beach, it would actually be really fun to take Rose Stone over there because I think that Ted is still throwing like beach time activities and a beach time party down there. So we can try helping him out a little bit more and seeing if we get anything as a result. And then let's run down and see what Marley has to say for himself at his farm. What's the, is this a safe way to get to his farm? Usually I just tumble off a cliff if I'm totally honest. I just sort of like roll off the cliff and find my way into his his farm. Oh my gosh, look at the horses. Interesting. Oh, look at this one. <gasps> so pretty. The Appaloosa, of course I have. I've always had a soft spot for Appaloosas. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at all of you. You're beautiful. You look like a little zebra to me. I would name you Zebra Heart. Another Appaloosa. Oh, you guys, I do have a soft spot for Appaloosas. <laughs> I could see myself ending up with an Appaloosa pretty early on. Ah, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, that's the horse trainer. I totally forgot that there's a horse training as well. All right, let's come over here and talk to Marley real quick. 
Hello, I'm Marley. I'm so happy that someone came by. You see, I have some problems that maybe you can help me. Here's the thing. I ordered this fantastic paddock at jbay.com. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, it seems like you need all kinds of papers, documents, and permissions when you build something like this. Who would have known? So I wonder if you can ride to Silverglade Village and talk to someone in the council and ask them to write the papers I need? Without them, I don't dare continue building this wonderful track I have planned. All right, so yeah, he does have a little quest for us. I think Fire Lord would be happy to help this area out. They start bonfires after all, and I think that's something that he can definitely appreciate. All right, so it looks like we're gonna go talk to the councilman really quickly. And man, you know, I still haven't managed to catch a championship. I need to get on here Friday night one night and hang out long enough to be able to see what a championship has to offer. All right, so thankfully the councilman is not very far away. He's literally right there. Oh, and look at this beautiful brown horse. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks like you've won some championships too, haven't you? All right, Councilman. Sorry about Fire Lord sticking his nose like right in your face. <gasps> oh, there's a little dog over there. The Councilman has a tiny dog and I just, I've never noticed it before. Look how cute he is with his little dog. It's so silly looking. Oh my gosh, I love him, Councilman. That's an adorable dog. A new paddock? Not my area of expertise, sorry. You need to see my colleague, Mr. Bucket. But unfortunately, he isn't here right now. What? If you really need those documents right now, I think it's best if you try to find, uh, try to meet Mr. Bucket at once. He's been away for a couple days now, trying to find evidence that the construction workers at Northlink are using illegal means to build the tunnel. Ride to the tunnel construction site at Northlink, north of Everwind Fields, if you want to find him. I'm sure he stands on top of a hill so he can see what's going on. Follow the road north from the village. Oh... Things are getting a little bit more interesting, you guys. Also, everybody's wearing sunglasses but me. <laughs> Maybe I should consider that. Hello, Vet. I hope the hedgehogs are doing well. Well, all right, you guys. So, we're gonna... Wait. Where would he be, then? North Link. Oh, that's right. It's not going to be telling me sometimes when we have the little quest anymore because we have to be more observant. It is one of the, the new things that we've gotten now that we've done so many quests. I noticed that little update the other day. All right, so we're going to ride up there, and I'm going to see if we manage to find this gentleman. And we can maybe present him with the paperwork, and I'll see you guys in a second.